Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. One really important thing to be aware of when flying a drone is the presence of temporary airspace restrictions and other warnings that might be raised via NOTAMs. In Drone Pilot Canada version 2.7, we now show NOTAM affected areas on the map and include them in airspace assessments and in flight plans. Let's check it out. To find out all about how to understand and decode NOTAMs, I strongly recommend you watch my video, How to Read NOTAMs for Drone Pilots. There's a link up there. That said, we've embedded some of the magic decoder ring right within Drone Pilot Canada to help you out. So what we've done is display the NOTAM bounding circle on the Drone Pilot Canada map in a purple shade for all flight information region, temporary airspace restrictions, and warning NOTAMs. For example, here's the area in British Columbia that is currently having all the horrendous forest fires. It's pretty shocking, actually. When you tap on one of these purple NOTAM zones, it will immediately show you whether it is an airspace restriction or a warning zone. This one happens to be an airspace restriction. I'll show you some warning zone examples in a minute. We then show you the start and end dates in normal date formats and show the time according to your local time zone. This way you don't have to decode the weird 10 digit NOTAM date coding and then convert it from UTC time. We've done it all for you. If you're planning a flight, you'll be able to easily see if there's a NOTAM that affects you. We then show the schedule, if there is one. Note that if there are time references in that schedule, and lots of times there's not, the dates and hours will be all mixed up in the plain English text. And so they'll still be in the UTC time zone. It's far too problematic for us to try to convert these from UTC to local time reliably. And we want those to be correct. Next is the altitude range for the NOTAM. We only show you ones that start at ground level, by the way, SFC or surface. For reference, we then provide the NOTAM number, of course, and let you know if it's new or replaces a previous one. And we say that in plain English. Finally, we provide the main text of the NOTAM, where you'll be able to see the nature of the issue. In general, airspace restrictions apply to all aircraft, including drones, and even including drones under 250 grams. Forest fires are perhaps the most common reason for temporary airspace restrictions, but there are other reasons as well. Air shows, for example, often result in a NOTAM being raised. And here, this one's a really interesting one on the Gaspé Peninsula. Drone-based whale monitoring. Cool! Again, unless you're authorized, it is a no-fly zone for all aircraft, including drones. Now, call me weird, but I actually find it really interesting to cruise around and see what NOTAMs are, are up in a particular area. Okay, aside from my weirdness, I'll show you a few examples of NOTAM warnings. The format of the message is the same, but of course we say on the first line that it's a warning, as opposed to an airspace restriction and then provide you the nature of that warning. There are actually 18 different kinds of warnings, ranging from blasting, which seems to be the most common one for some reason, to parachuting, and there's lots of those too, and even drone activities. This one's interesting, a tethered Matrice drone in the Vancouver area. Very cool. Just like the airspace restrictions, please read the warning NOTAM's main text very carefully when it affects your intended flight area. Usually it is, as the name suggests, just a warning, but you should be very careful if you do choose to fly in a NOTAM warning zone. So flight information region NOTAM zones are now shown on the map in a shade of purple, which is great. What about the other places in the app where NOTAMs are come up, basically? Well, if you do an airspace assessment like this, when you scroll through the information, we provide all the fur NOTAMs that affect any point within 10 nautical miles, or about 18 kilometers, of where you tapped. For flight plans, we do a similar thing, 
but assess only the area of operation that you have defined for your flight. And to be fair, a little bit beyond it just for safety. Any fur NOTAMs will be listed in the flight plan document, of course. In addition, since a flight plan is supposed to be a very thorough document, we look for the closest aerodrome within 10 nautical miles that has any aerodrome facility NOTAMs and list these as well. Now, it is very unlikely that an aerodrome facility NOTAM will impact drone operations. They're usually stuff like out of service lights or the presence of tower cranes, but we provide the information just in case. So there we have it. Drone pilot, what? Sorry, you want more? Oh, okay, how about this? If you tap on the map and hit the NOTAM button, you now have options to view all the NOTAM airspace restrictions in your flight information region, or all the NOTAM warnings in the FUR, or the aerodrome facility NOTAMs for any individual aerodrome within 10 nautical miles. Or you can just go to the Nav Canada NOTAM website and search for any NOTAMs your heart desires. How's that? But wait, there's more. Yep, we've done even more. We've made it a bit easier to do manual flight records and flight plans. If you tap the map before selecting these functions, which is something I found myself doing all the time, now you can simply say, use the last location I tapped for the manual flight record or flight plan. Or you can still choose to a, a new location if you want. Just a simple thing that we figured you would enjoy. Well, there we have it. A major new set of features in Drone Pilot Canada to help you fly safely and legally. We now display drone affecting NOTAM zones right on the map, provide some basic interpretation of their content, list them in airspace assessments and flight plans, and give you the opportunity to review potentially affecting ones by means of an enhanced NOTAM button. I hope you find these new features useful. Drone Pilot Canada, built by Canadians for Canadian drone pilots. Safe and happy flying.